When you think about corn plants, one of the big potential yield robbers that can pop up during the season is leaf disease. So we're going to talk about some of those leaf diseases and the length of control you need to get in order to protect your yield. All right, well, one of the diseases that there really isn't a lot you can do is Goss's wilt. The reason why is it's bacterial. Whenever we start finding bacterial diseases, I go, oh no, as an agronomist, that is not what I want to see. With a fungal disease, I can go out and spray a fungicide. With a bacterial disease, yes, there are some bactericides that have been out there before, but we just haven't found that we're getting real great results out of different bactericides. So you think about gosses or you think about bacterial leaf streak or xanthomonas, uh, those types of things. Yeah, you've got to look for hybrid tolerance if we want to have the best control. Now, when you think about gray leaf spot, I've got a story for you. I was out in Illinois last summer, uh, and I was in a helicopter flying over some fields, doing a little scouting that way, just to see if we could see some differences in some trials. And sure enough, there's a green streak right down this field, and I'm, I'm in the helicopter with the farmer. I said, all right, you got to tell me, what'd you do in this streak? He said, well, gray leaf spot was bad again this year. We sprayed not only early in the season at V5 to V7, we sprayed again at R1. Then we came back in a couple of weeks later and sprayed another application of fungicide because last year it gained us 30 bushels having an additional shot of fungicide on late. And I said, wow, that's awesome, 30 bushels. So why did you only do a strip this year and not the whole field? And he said, well, it was kind of an accidental late spraying last time. So uh, he said, I guarantee in 2017, we'll be doing that more widespread because leaf diseases can keep popping up later in the season. All right, so Darren talked about gray leaf spot. That is a fungal disease. Another fungal disease that is really bad, especially as you go south, is southern leaf rust. I was in the southern United States talking to some high yield farmers and they just said, man, this is the worst disease. And I asked them, well, do you have any other diseases at that time? Nope just this. This is all we're seeing. And I said, you know what, have you tried any Folicure? Folicure is labeled in corn. It's a really good fungicide if we're just talking rust. And they said, you know what we found? Folicure actually works pretty good, but our problem is it doesn't last long enough for us. As you go south in the United States, it's like a greenhouse and they just continue to have disease problem after disease problem. So the southern rust would just keep showing up. And since folicure doesn't last as long as some of the strobes, they just found, you know what, we'd have to go back and repeat applications too quickly. So we'd rather do a combination, get a triazole for kind of a little bit of curative activity together with a strobe for a little bit longer residual. All right, so you may be thinking, okay, I've got to make multiple applications here. I've got 10 foot tall corn. How am I going to get coverage down through that canopy to protect the plant? Well, where do you really need the coverage? You need it on those upper leaves down to about that ear leaf. So you do need to penetrate the canopy a little bit. Uh, so using great big coarse droplets is not going to be the way to get that accomplished. Uh, finer droplets is good. Uh, many times we'll be talking about aerial application. If that's the case, you've got that push uh, as that plane comes across or helicopter comes across that can help move it down in the canopy too when you've got good fine droplets to get the job done. Yep, so again, small spray droplets, try to use a little bit more water, maybe a little bit more spray pressure, spray at the right time. You don't want to be out there when there's a whole bunch of dew on the plant. I mean, there are just a few little things you can do to try to get more effectiveness, get more bang for the buck out of that fungicide you're going to spray. There are a lot of diseases that can show up late in the season. I mean, there are others we haven't talked about yet, like northern corn leaf blight and eye spot and just a bunch of different things that could affect your crop. I also can't promise you that when you go out and spray this fungicide that it's going to give you a positive return. It's going to be expensive if you're going to spray late in the season. But you know what? If you're already at a high yield level and your conditions are right for having some disease, it's at least worth running some trials. So we do a lot of this kind of stuff. We recommend a lot of this to you. If you don't try some things, then you don't really know if that's going to pay off, just like Darren's story a little bit earlier. We also have the Ag PhD Corn Diseases Guide uh, and a Soybean Diseases Guide too. We worked with the American Phytopathological Society to, to put these together so we've got some great pictures and information to help you identify which disease is out in your field and what you can do about it. On most farms around the country, it's not too late to be looking at disease in corn. It's also not too late ever to be looking at weeds, especially if you've got our Weed of the Week. We'll talk about it coming up next.